So please excuse the outfit. I'm going to go for a run after I film this. But I want to take a minute to talk about Charlotte just passing the Unified Development Ordinance on Monday. This is kind of a big deal because it's going to bring all of Char Charlotte's developmental ordinances under one book. Surprisingly, it's never been consolidated before. So there's been a lot of overlap and, and kind of crossing of paths when it comes to these regulations. So it's going to be nice to finally have this all in one book. They're also going to be tying it in with satellite data through GIS. So hopefully we can have really clear maps on how all these zoning and regulations are going to work. So one of the biggest points of contention with this whole thing is the fact that it's turning almost all of the single family zones in Charlotte into the ability to have multifamily on these lots. So pretty much any neighborhood in Charlotte's going to be able to take a single family home and turn it into a multifamily home. Obviously this has its uh, proponents and opponents of it. I just want to address a couple of those issues. Um, one of the opponents I had seen had made the comments that this is going to gentrify neighborhoods in West, North and East Charlotte. So you're thinking Ashley Park, Enderley Park, Washington Heights, Via Heights, Plaza Shamrock, Shamrock, kind of that umbrella of affordability around Charlotte. I don't fully understand that argument because if you're adding homes into a neighborhood, you've probably seen my other videos. One of the reasons why prices are so high right now is because there's just not enough supply. So if you're adding more homes into these neighborhoods, you're increasing supply. Generally, that'll bring down pricing. So I don't understand it from that side. But I also don't understand it because I don't think they paid attention in the last couple of years, but these are the neighborhoods that have been gentrified. We saw prices in these exact neighborhoods go from 180,000 three or four years ago to like 325,000 now. It's literally 50% increase in less than two years in these neighborhoods. These neighborhoods have already been gentrified. They've already pushed people out. They've outpriced most of people, in, most, uh, most of the people with the average income in Charlotte. And you can actually see that. We can see the affordability chart right here. And you can see it's down to like 65, I think 68 as of July. But that essentially means, so for example, if, you, if the affordability was at 100, it would mean that uh, the average income would be 100% of what you would need to qualify for a home, an average priced home in Charlotte. So we're at 65%, 68%. That means the average income only represents about 65% of what you actually need to be able to afford a average priced home in Charlotte. And to put it in better perspective, in like 2012, 2013, it was as high as 170. So it's really fallen off a cliff here. And although this doesn't specify these neighborhoods we're talking about, um, they were by far the most impacted. So I, I disagree on the fact that it's already been gentrified and then if you add more supply to it you might actually make it more affordable for people and allow some of these people pushed out to come back in possibly that's just my take on it we'll see how things play out the interesting thing i find about that too though is some of the proponents of this plan kind of say the exact same thing they're excited that developers will build in these neighborhoods increase supply drive down prices and attract people but my argument against that is if you've driven around Myers Park lately in the last four or five years, what's really interesting is that it seems like every single corner has a new really high-end duplex on it. And I think that's essentially what you're going to see happen in all the other high-end neighborhoods. So developers will more than likely target these really high-priced neighborhoods like Chantilly or Sedgefield or any of these neighborhoods that still have Really old homes or small homes that are easy to purchase for a low price, they'll tear them down and they'll build a duplex on it. Because you can currently build a duplex for about 60% of what it would cost to build two single family homes. But when you look at what they're actually selling for, these multifamily homes in these high-end neighborhoods, it seems like they're selling for almost as much as a single family. So it leaves room for developers to make a lot of money. And I think they're gonna go after that. So we can even strengthen that argument. When we look at this chart, we're seeing over 44% increase in the number of people from last year to this year that are buying in that half a million to a million dollar range. And I was watching a realtor in Raleigh talking about their housing stats. 
and he had noticed that the overall sales were starting to decline but he said the one segment that seems to still be going strong are those buyers in that 700 to a million dollar price range for whatever reason the interest rates hasn't have not affected them as much and they're still actively buying more than any other segment i think developers have probably noticed that and it's going to push them to develop in these neighborhoods and the problem is it doesn't do what this udo wants they want to build more affordable housing and they're hoping these developers go to areas where they can create affordable housing but developers are going to go where they can make the most money and that's going to be at least initially i really think in these high-end neighborhoods it's just what we've seen so far and it's where the trends are pointing so it's going to be really interesting to see how all this shakes out i know there's a lot of other arguments about changing the looks of neighborhoods or the congestion this might create but if you guys have any opinions, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it. I'm going to link a YouTube video. I saw they're doing a city council kind of town hall video you can watch on YouTube on Monday, this coming Monday. So I'll link that down below in the comments. So, and again, please let me know what you guys think down below. I'm Ryan McGran. I'm a realtor here in Charlotte. If you have any buying or selling questions, please feel free to email, text, or call. I'm going to leave my phone and email pinned in the comments down below. You can call, text, or email anytime. I look forward to hearing from you.